the degree I'm undertaking at the minute is a master's degree in applied social research. The Disability Support Office offer, I believe, two kinds of support really. Number one is um, accessing the funding you need to um, support you undertaking your, your master's degree. Access for funding for a computer, study support and things like that. But they also can intervene if you've got financial problems or problems with social care and things like that. Let me know if there's any problems and I'll try and sort it out for you. Um, my social care package generally um, boils down to um, two and a half hours support a day. The, the problem with that is very often it can be ad hoc and the carers don't undertake all of the tasks that they're supposed to because of time constraints and things like that. But in terms of the place where I live, um, the flat is brilliant. It's um, I've been intervention from other NHS agencies like an occupational therapist has recently been around uh, to provide kitchen adaptions so I can cook independently and things like that which is really important to me. In my case I'm very reliant on the, the social care package. I don't have um, family nearby or, or friends that I can easily call on. So when my social care uh, package is created, that needs to be taken into consideration. And it isn't at the moment, which it means from my perspective, my needs as, as an individual are not being adequately met. I'm a very sociable person, but because of my um, disability, I find it difficult to access social events. For example, I enjoy going to concerts um, and attending political meetings and, and going out with friends. But because my care package doesn't provide this for me, I, I find it difficult to access those type of things, which is having a detrimental effect on how I feel about myself and my self-esteem in general. The government really does need to focus on when a, a social care package is created, looking at disabled people as citizens and members of communities. So, for example, in my um, situation, providing support for social care, but also providing um, more support in terms of uh, accessing employment and things like that. In terms of the language used, around social care and provision for disabled people, there has been massive strides. Um, for example, the government initiative to involve disabled people in the policy making process with um, the 2025 Equality Commission and things like that are massive steps forward. But um, disabled people in general still face massive barriers in society. It is harder to to get a job if you have a disability. If you leave college or you leave school and, and you're, you're straight away going on to, you know, being on benefits, it's very hard to get out of that for anyone, you know, to sort of break free of the system and, and have the confidence to go to a job interview and go, right, hello, this is me, this is what I can give you and this is why I'd be great for your company. Unfortunately, a lot of young disabled people are faced with being on the dole because, or, or you know, disability living allowance because, you know, they're not sort of first in the queue for being offered jobs. 